I must be honest with you guys, the past weeks have been dry for me when it comes to pairing work with pairing studies, with pairing my personal life, with my teeny tiny health issues of the moment. So the closet that is behind me has been a bit neglected in the past weeks. I'm trying my best to fold my clothing and to organise in piles, but the piles get a bit messy over time. And on the left of the closet, there's like the hanging pot in which I put my dresses and my knits and my small smart shirts it also gets a bit abandoned and neglected because i don't know why sometimes i'm too lazy to put the things on the hangers as they were before so i usually throw the things in on the hanging bar and i leave them like that basically but there's like a pile of clothing on top of the bar so yeah there's a lot of to do on this side and on this side um i'd say that the pants section at the top is a bit messy and yeah they're like pants trousers trousers and skirts i can't see i can't find anything basically i i just grab the first thing that comes to my hand and as you can see in the mirror, there's a huge pile of dirty clothing and bed sheets on the floor that I have to move to the bathroom where the laundry machine is. And I also have to launch a machine. Um, is that the word? To turn the machine on and to, yeah, to do laundry. Not myself, but the machine will do, will do the laundry for me. So yeah, that's that. I think that I'm gonna take care of the pile first. I'm sorry if I sound a bit confused or if I can't find my words, but as I said before, I'm a bit ill and the past weeks have been quite tiring and overwhelming. I'm suffering from minor health issues at the moment. And they are going to be taken care of, don't worry. I have to book an appointment to the doctors for next week. And I have minor things to talk about. My brain is all foggy and I don't sleep well and other things are mingling in all that. Anyway, let's take care of the pile. Let's try and grab everything at the same time. Okay, I'm doing well. Should I begin with that part? Should I show you? So the things up here are my boyfriend's and there are knits and sweaters that he doesn't want anymore, so He's, put, he's posted them on Vinted and he's waiting for them to be sold. For the moment, they're just hanging there. All the way down the middle are things that I own. This is the pile I was telling you about. There's a bunch of things here that I have to put back on the hangers. So there you have the knits. The thicker jumpers. All called the days. For instance, this is something that can go in that section. It's not too thick, but it's definitely something that I wear on colder days. It's in between seasons, I'd say. Okay. What else can I tell you guys? Um, apart from the hair the minor health problems. Um, it's been quite hard for me to find a moment to film 
in the past days because as winter is approaching the, the light is a bit tricky and I usually end my work shift late so it's already night time when I arrive home so that's why I can't film and I don't own a light of some sort I should buy one at some point I was waiting for a Wednesday as on the weekends I'm a bit too shy to film when my boyfriend's when my bo boyfriend is around I told you that my brain was a bit foggy today it's hard for me to talk clearly so that goes on the right as well on the left for you guys this is all good okay now this is a blazer that my mom gave me it's similar to a denim jacket i figured i could keep it just in case if you know i want to do an all denim look it would be quite fun but i don't really know where i should put it though let's draw it on the left for the moment and i'll see later that's good that's good um, this is a very long blazer that is quite oversized i found it on a flea market it was three euros i think it's very long and I usually wear it as a dress. I grab my star belt that you might have seen in some videos to cinch my waist and to make sure that everything is packed inside. I'm not flashing anyone. Um, I'm gonna put it in the dress section on the left. Okay, my smart shirts like this one. I was telling you about another bottom up shirt this one is a bit long i thought it could look nice with a, a silky skirt a black silky skirt but i don't have one i used to have one but the waistband was getting a bit loose and a bit yeah so i had to give it away to recycle it and i still have to buy one to replace it Okay. And um, this is a dress that I've talked about, I think, in the previous video. Let me try to put it back in the proper way. Oh my god. <laughs> If my memory is correct, I talked about that dress in my summer wardrobe essentials of this year. Please tell me if I'm wrong. So that will go in the dress section. Okay, you know what? Let's put that on the floor. Um, this one is hanging, so that's fine. I need more hangers. Okay, so everything is hanging and I have things that have fallen down here. Let's pick them up. I have two shoulder bags. This one, if you can see, and this one. I bought them on Vinted. I mean, I have other shoulder bags, but those ones are like the okay so what do i have here there's a tube dress that you've seen last year with the dresses you go it's a long sleeve dress that goes all the way to the floor and it is backless this is a dress that I ordered from a small business. 
this is a sort of corset top that I'd put above other clothing like above shirts I'm going to try and hang that on yeah okay next what do I have I have three but four more items and only one hanger left that's gonna be a problem this is a maxi dress that wears second hand it's all to to toby what the fuck okay something is wrong here okay done and you know what i'm gonna try to hang another dress on it because i don't have any more angles left it's all upside down again this dress i'm not sure that i've shown it to you in a previous video this is a dress that i bought for my boyfriend's birthday last year and i think that i should do like a pd buffet in france and perhaps i should wear yeah a long sleeve top underneath like white one I don't know, what do you think? Okay, in the closet you go. What's this? A maxi bodycon dress. I'm gonna try to find a hanger to hang it up, hanging on. This is a cropped denim jacket that I bought at a flea market event I'm sure that I've told you guys about before and you've seen it for sure for sure and you've seen it for sure there are stains in the back though should I try to wash it? it surely needed some tidying and now I can see more clearly. Now let's try to tackle this pop, which is really messy as well. Okay. Ooh. So, as I said, in the beginning of the video the top shelf is filled with pants skirts but the problem is that the piles are not clear anymore and everything is mingled should i take everything down what do you think yeah let's do that that's a lot Hats. Oh, this one was all cute over here. Folded in his side. Get stay here. Okay. I do have a lot of skirts. You know what? I'm gonna try to declutter a bit. Well, I tidy. Oh, this is the bag of clothes that you have to recycle or give away or try and sell vintage. This one has stayed somewhere that has not disappeared during the last washing. Oh yeah, it's there. Don't know why I put some spray over it all but it but it's not really disappeared i'm gonna put it in the washing pile that is in the bathroom and i'll have to remember to put some spray on again 
this is a massive cut that is very floaty that you might have seen in a previous video I usually wear a belt just into the waist with it here let's continue with this cut this one that you know the asymmetrical silky brownie skirts you know this one as well it's a masky a max maxi maxi silky skirt a great color it's very soft it was from collusion if you've not seen the video in which I, I talk about it and if you are interested I bought it brand new from ASOS. This one is a Scott, a Scott. I've been wearing it the beginning of this autumn with tut and high boots. And this can go here. A knit skirt that I really like wearing. I have too many skirts, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, five skirts already. And I still have like four more, four more to go. I wanted to narrow my collection down to five skirts, but that's going to be a bit tricky. Yesterday I was thinking about dedicating that whole shelf to the skirts or the pants. It tends to get a bit messy and a bit and everything like gets mingled all the time so I don't know but I don't really know where to put the pants because that shelf is my work hat clothing and in the back there are like personal items like Tara Dex and salt. I might try to combine this file with this file. This file is like a very long sleeve workout clothing, my tops, my long sleeve tops and those are t-shirts. Okay, let's move that here, my workout pants. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to do a pile of pants here. I don't know if I keep that one. I really like it, but the waist is a bit too loose for me. Let's put that in the giveaway bag, let's say. Okay, should I put the silky skirts together? The long denim skirt that you know, a white knit skirt that I bought in Uniqlo. It's very flattering on me. And finish with for this section this pair of white leg trousers that you know. Okay, not bad. You know what? For this shelf, I think that everything is all good. It's just that not too good looking piles, but it's okay, I guess. Just my workout clothing. For this shelf, I'd say that the back is a bit more messy than the front because the back is my long sleeve tops, so those are tops that I can still wear at the moment. You know what, I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to put everything on the floor and fold everything back in the right place. Summery t-shirt that my boyfriend brought back from New York. A Green Day t-shirt. This is one of the cashmere tops that you know, that I've shown you before. You should probably count how many times I've said I've shown you before in this video. It doesn't smell really good though. Okay. The one shoulder long sleeve top. 
I'm going to go on the back. An old shoulder, long sleeve top, like a, um, in French we say col bateau, but I don't really know what they're called in English. Go in the back. You have to go another cashmere top. This one doesn't smell that bad. This one kind of looks like the cashmere tops, except that it's more of a, I don't really know what this fabric is. This one is made of the same fabric as the previous one that I showed you. A very simple, casual, long sleeve top. It has a baby pink colour. Not sure that you can see that well with the very bad lights. This top was from the small business that I've talked about before for the dress. The last cashmere top. The black one, my favourite. This one was washed not a long time ago so still it doesn't stick basically has to go and the white top that is quite sheer i don't know what to do with that one i have a love hate relationship with it because it's so sheer that you see everything underneath and it makes me feel uneasy. I might keep it for the moment and I'll see you later if I change my mind. This is the on the shelf remaining that we have to tidy and clean and perhaps declutter. As you can see I have kept some delivery boxes from Vinted orders and I put them there in order to make like baskets of things. Those are like my casual panties, my socks, these are my cuter panties, those are my bras and behind we have my period panties, my special period panties, you know, the, the ones that have a pad built in that you have to wash and reuse so yeah it's just my tights with those panties my swimsuit i don't know if i've seen it i don't know if you've seen it before it's my only swimsuit there we have my pajamas i'm hoping to get more vintage deliveries in the future i mean deliveries that require boxes so that I use them as baskets for the back of the shelf. Okay, let me show you from up close what it looks like now after the clean out. So those are bags, travel bags, the skirts, the silky skirts, the other skirts. Those are my pads. My workout clothing. Here we have my summer tops, t shirts. In the back, my cashmere tops with the sheer tops, the green one and the pink one that have sort of prints on them. Long sleeve tops that can be quite thin. I forgot the bottom shelf. My underwear. My tights in the back with the period underwear, the pajamas in the back, and I can't remember if I've shown the final result to you before. My memory is failing me. This looks much better. The door was stuck. Okay. This looks much better. I'm done with the tidying. 
that was quicker than I thought. Um, I didn't own many pieces of clothing. I try to keep the things I wear the most. Not gonna lie though, that was very motivating to record myself while cleaning up the closet. That's it for now. I'll see you in a future video. And in the meantime, I wish you a great day, a great week, a great night as always and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.